Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's time to set up for week 31. As week 31 stretches from the end of July into the beginning of August, I have split it up because my books tend to run from month to month. So in my July book, I am putting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and in my August book, I put Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which basically means I have to set up two spreads. So I started off with the one in July and uh, I had this cupcake washi that Wendy sent me and once I actually got it down I thought it looked a bit Christmassy but you know I kept going and then I had this washi across the bottom which was bluer than I realised I thought it was a bit green to start with and it's got sort of flowers in it so here I am just setting up the stencil and my days of the week. The colour Tombow I'm using is number 177 and the stencils are linked down below, or they should be anyway. Now I'm using a black Tombow Fudunosuke pen to write in the days and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of zen tangling in there to get it going. I usually do flowers because I find flowers easy to draw. So now I'm switching over to the August book and I just thought it'd be easier to take it out of the binder due to bulkiness. Um, I put a piece of paper or something coloured underneath the paper I'm about to put washi on, it just makes it easier to line up the washi with the end of the paper. Um, I had to be quite careful with this washi as I tore it the foot on the July book uh, because I pulled it a little bit too roughly and it tore in my hands. I was like, oh! Got quite upset so now because it was all so neat and new and lovely I decided to try actually cutting the bit of washi out with a craft knife it kind of worked um, but it just it was a lot of hassle so and as it gets bulkier that's not going to be easy to do then I put the washi across the bottom and did all the same thing, trimmed it all out and made it so it fit all around the pages. It was then that it occurred to me I hadn't put the washi down the side of um, the first part of week 31. I didn't realise I was out of shot here, sorry. Um, yeah, that's literally all I'm doing is I'm putting some washi just down the edge of the page. I obviously need to move my camera because I didn't realise it was out of shot. Oh, quick kiss and a cuddle, look. He comes in every now and then goes, give me a kiss and has a quick kiss and a cuddle and then he goes again. <laughs> so there you are, that's, that's the washi I put it's just a green and white striped edge, it's quite dark green. So then I drew in my last part of the week. And then, I don't know why I did this line, normally because I need to do this line and I forget that line. 
and um, I drew it in and it wasn't until I went to write in the days of the week that I realised that I didn't actually need to because I only needed four days. So I filled in my little mini calendar and I've colour coded it. I didn't do one in the first part of the week simply because I didn't have room. So yeah. So here I am sticking in 31 and then I thought well I'm going to write you know part one and part two in there in a minute. This is when I realised that I didn't need that other line and I was so cross with myself. But you know what the hell it doesn't matter. That's just me looking for something to watch or listen to while I uh, plan. So I'm just going to colour in the rest of this stenciled number so that it matches the first part of week 31 in my July book. I don't know why I wanted it to match, I just did. And then I use the thin end of the Tombow to write in part two. I didn't know what to do down the bottom half of this spread and I didn't really sort of need to do anything else. I, I had room for everything that I wanted. So I thought I would write in Hello August. My only wish is that the um, pen that I wrote to do August in was darker so that it matched the green of the Tombow a little bit better. But you got to work with what you got, haven't you? So I sketched it all in first because I didn't want to mess it up. actually look like I know what I'm doing there don't I <laughs> I will be honest I'm, I'm not happy with this spread really um, I don't know why I don't know whether it's this bit or what it is I just yeah I just wasn't happy with it So I stuck it back in and I was going to show it all off and then I thought, well hang on, I haven't written part one. And I picked up the wrong pen. I meant to do it with the Tombow so that it matched. But yeah, I chose the wrong pen. So I'm just going to untangle part two now. I sped it up a little bit more just because, you know, I don't know, you might enjoy watching Zentangling, but then again, you might find it a little bit boring. So I was sped it to the maximum, really. Um, as I said before, I've Zentangled flowers simply because I always find they look nice. They look pretty. So I just did very basic for the three, and then I just went bonkers and did loads of daisies all over the one. You've seen me do that before. I like the way it looks, so I'll keep doing that until I'm bored with it and then I'll find something else to do. <laughs> and then you just colour in all around it and I find it looks really effective. I use a Pit Artist pen in the excess size to do this. Sorry about my head getting in the way too. Right, there we go, I'm just going to show you both halves. Please leave thumbs up, click the book, subscribe, you know, all that lot. And don't forget the comments and the kisses. Take it easy guys, bye!